Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we'll learn how to create an innovative hexagonal pattern opening slide for your next presentation. This slide includes space for a title, subtitle, some body text, and ACTA. We'll also show you how to customize this to fit your presentation's theme. Let's get started. Open up a blank slide and the first thing we're going to do is go to the shapes menu and choose a hexagon. Let's drag its corner to resize it. Holding the shift key keeps the ratio the same when resizing. Go ahead and create a copy of the hexagon and scale it. Repeat this a few times until at least half of your screen is filled with a hexagonal pattern. Next, we'll crop the shapes to fit perfectly inside the side. Go to Shapes and select Rectangle. Enlarge it and align it to the slide's edge like this. Select the hexagon that you wish to crop, then hold Shift and select the rectangle. Go to Merge Shapes and choose Subtract. We selected the hexagon first as that is the shape that we want to subtract the second shape from. Do this a few more times until all your shapes are nicely cut. Select Shift and Subtract. It's that simple. Now we're going to select all the hexagons using Shift. Go to Shape Format and pick Union. This merges them together as one shape. Remove the outline of the shapes by going to Shape Outline and selecting No Outline. Next, let's add in the background image. Go to the Insert tab and select Icons, and then Images. Search for an image that matches your theme. We're searching for a pleasant landscape image. Once you've picked your image, select Insert. Then, position the image to cover the hexagonal pattern entirely. Press Ctrl X to cut the image. Now click on the shape and head to Format Shape. Open the Fill menu and pick Picture or Texture Fill. Click on Clipboard to paste your image into the shape. You can toggle the Rotate with Shape option on or off. When turned off, you can adjust the shape's rotation to show a different side of the image if you wish. Another fun option is the tile picture as a texture option. If you'd like to cover the slide with copies of your image placed side by side, turn this on. Now, let's give the image a shadow effect to make it 3D. We'll add an inner shadow so each side has a drop shadow on top of the image on the inside. Let's set distance at 16 points, blur at 15 points, and transparency around 45%. It's time to add in your text. Go to Shape and select Text Box. Type in your presentation's topic here. Set Aptos Body as your font. Make it bold and uppercase. Increase the font size to about 44 to make it more prominent. You can choose this based on the length of your text. Now let's add in another text box for your body content. Drag it below the title and add in a short description here. If you want to add a subtitle, insert an additional text box and make it bold. Now let's go to shapes and add in a small rectangle. Add a text box in this with your call to action in it. In text options, go to color and select white. Now remove the shape outline. Let's add an icon to make it even better. Go to insert and select icons. Search for your keyword here and pick an icon that you like. Now adjust the icon in the rectangle and change its color to white. It's time to tie the design together through color. Select the subtitle text box and go to Font Color. In More Colors, you'll find the Color Selection tool. This lets you pick up a specific shade from any point of your image. Find a nice color that will match your slide. Next, select the rectangle and head to Shape Fill. Here, choose the same color. Now that your slide is ready, let's bring it to life with animations. Let's group the shape and icon by selecting them. Right-click to open the menu and pick group. Then hold the Shift key and select the object you want to animate. Go to the Animation tab and select Fly in Animation. In Effect Options, set the direction of animation to from left. 
Navigate to the animation pane and select all layers. Right click and open the timings menu. Open the effects tab and set smooth end to 0.25 seconds. In the timings tab, set start to on click. Keep the duration as one second. Click on OK to apply the changes. Open the timing menu for the subtitle object layer and set start to with previous, keep a delay of 0.3 seconds, and click on OK. Do the same for the description layer. Set the delay as 0.6 in this case. Finally, select the shape layer and open the timing menu. Set start as with previous and delay to 0.9 seconds. Click OK. Start the slideshow to see what our entry animations look like. Your slide is now complete. But let's look at how we can create some variations. First, let's create a dark themed version of the slide. Select the background and open the format background menu. In the slide navigation bar, select your slide. Hold down the control key and press D to duplicate it. Select solid fill and add in a color. Pick black. Select your description and header. In format shape, go to text options and set color to white. Let's check it out. You can also change your background image like this. Let's duplicate both versions of the slide. Select the new slide and go to insert. Click on icons and then images. Type in your keyword to find a relevant image. Once you've selected it, click insert. Your image is now open on the slide. Adjust the zoom so you can see the entire slide. Move and resize the image to cover the shape. Use Ctrl X to cut the image. Now replace the background image by going to Shape Options. Under Fill menu, choose Picture or Texture Fill. Click Clipboard to paste your image. Now change the color of the subtitle and shape to match the image. Repeat these steps to create as many variations as you'd like. what your slideshow will look like in the end. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.